it's me cheek squared and yes I'm back today and no I'm not naked if anyone was wondering I don't know why I said that it is what it is I am back today to show off some lip colors that I picked up a long time ago but for whatever reason I did not film these these have been my go-to's you know lately because it's getting warmer and I just I've been kind of in like a glossy sort of not all day staying lip wear mood does that make sense? I really don't know why I have not reviewed these, but the colors in question and the item in question, as you can read up the top, are the Nikkei. <coughs> I'm joking. <coughs> what this video is going to be about, as you can read up top, are the Nikkei lip glosses. Yep, you heard me. That's what I have on, and that's what I'm holding. These Nikkei lip glosses are only $1. They are not by any means, shape, or form new. I will say the packaging has changed from what they used to look like back in the day, but they aren't really new, but they might be new for you. I'm going to swatch these and hold them right up to my face, so if you want to see what these look like, keep on watching. All right, let's go. Between these and Nikki K's matte liquid lipstick obviously is that these do not dry down and they're not kiss proof so if you're looking for something kiss proof this is not the one that you need to get but if you're looking for something to just kind of add on or wear alone this is a great buy I actually have to say that I prefer this formula is that safe to say <laughs> what I mean by that okay what I mean by that guys is that it's consistent. This whole line is consistent. 
what you see is what you get. The color I'm wearing right now is called Too Hot. This one is really nice. It's a nice red with a little bit of shimmer in it. I love it because you can put it on light or you can put it on really heavy. You can also top all of your other lip colors with this, which is one reason why I really enjoy this brand and this particular formula they have for these sets because the lip shines, they're pretty nice. The Nikki K lip shines come with three formulas. Each formula has different kinds of finishes. The first formula is going to obviously be more of a flavor, scented, and pretty clear. Not much color in it. If anything, it might seem a little bit like holographic, like it'll have a little color change, but not really a lot of pigmentation. The second formula that they have, that one is more of what I'm wearing right now, which is just going to give you color, but lots of shine. It's not ever really going to matte down and feel, you know, dry on the lips. The third formula is their matte version of the lip shine. So what that means is basically, I know you don't really see it in the swatches because I had to do so many, <laughs> but the lip colors, they're a little bit drier on the lips. Now they don't feel dry, but they feel, how do I say, a little more textured on the lips and they have full color and after just a little bit, they do dry down to a matte finish, which is awesome because they're more comfortable than like a liquid lipstick which tends to kind of harden and dry. These just kind of like give you more like a lip cream feel without it being too moussey. So it still feels like a gloss, but it mattes down completely. I picked these up at my local beauty supply. They were only one dollar when I went there. I don't know why they would be any more than one dollar, but like I said, they are literally 99 cents. One dollar, that's it. No more, no less. I think these are a great buy to just really have in your kits or just like toss it in your bag whenever you just want to change things up or maybe you're not feeling like wearing a heavy lipstick or anything like that today, tomorrow, next week, who knows. In the past these were more of a cylindrical shape. They were round like you know your typical old school lip gloss tube but I do have to say that I really appreciate the new packaging. This design allows them not to fall off your beauty counter. There's nothing worse than putting a round tube on your counter and then it falls and then you're looking all over the floor for it. So I really appreciate that it is a square design. It has the Nikki K logo right there and then the name of the product here on the side and also on the bottom, which is great if you have greasy hands like me and you tend to rub off the, the labeling on a lot of your products. You have two places places where you can look at what you're picking up. The applicator looks like this. It's a flat, long applicator. So it's not like your typical doe foot. It's just really long and it allows you to cover a lot of your lip without having to like re-dip. I really appreciated that I only had to dip into this one time to really get the color application that I wanted. You can double up on it, but like I said, these really do their magic with being applied with something else. But like I said, they are nice to be worn alone, especially the matte version. Okay guys, so that was my review of these Nikki K Lip Shines. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just wanna say hi, or maybe ask me why I'm not wearing a shirt. <laughs> I can't say that. Please leave all that down below, and I'll be happy to answer all of those questions and hellos as soon as I can. Save me because I don't know what I was about to say right here. It's been Cheech and I'll see you next time. And I'm rambling again. My throat really hurts. Oh, my throat hurts. I don't know. I'm talking too much. My mom warned me of this. Put this color on and take your man. Bye. <laughs>